Hi fellow modelers and this is the kit we're gonna take a look at today. This is Edward Limited Edition which as far as I know is already a rarity. Uh, SU25K based on Zvezda recent release that we already reviewed. But with an abundance of paint schemes. So this is in Czechoslovak Czech and Slovak services and this is the planes that we have inside. Now I'm gonna take a, a peek inside the box and I'm gonna do this videos in two parts because there is a book inside. Now this is how Edward packed the Zvezda kit which is nice although it's all in one bag. What he also added is brass in series. I think this is 3D printed. Wheels, air brakes. We have a very solid book. And about that one, I'm going to make another review. This won't be featured thoroughly in this review. This weighs as much as the kit itself, by the way. This is the instruction sheet, which is brilliant. This are the masks. The anoles also have mask for this one. Photo edge for the carpet. And a humongous set of decal sheets. Humongous. Now, as I said, I won't be unpacking those. Why? Because I already destroyed this. This is Zvezda, as you can see. This is the mask set we are working on currently of the kit, which will represent this thing here. Now let's start with the instructions because I already picked out the sheet. Now, what we have here resin parts, air brakes, and scoop, wheels, mudguard, photo edge, masks, and this is Vesda. Now Edward instruction sheet is made in a very professional way, something that Zvezda are far from, and at this point they can only dream about this. If you have to build the SU25, no matter Zvezda, regular release or Edward, I would advise to use this thing here. It's brilliant. Now of course, as you can see, there are plenty of marking options here, which is different apparently from Zvezda and Brassen, which of course you can add to your regular Zvezda kit as an extra in case you missed to buy this one. But this one, as it is, is uh, more of a collector's item rather than a kit that you want to build. So, yeah. Now, we are getting to the important part here. Color schemes. This is a demo SU25, uh, so-called frog, the Czech frog. And that's, that was a regular attender at the most 90s air shows around Europe. That was post-Soviet uh, era, uh, post-communism and Probably not many of the American Mullers were here in Europe around that time. So for them, this might be something special, but for Europeans like myself, you were able to catch a glimpse of that aircraft quite often. Now, this is a lovely paint scheme. This is the standard paint scheme of the initial SU-25 delivered in Czechoslovakia, that was the first country from the Warsaw Pact that uh, got the new twin-engine 
jet, besides Russians, of course. Then on, we are getting into the 90s, and during the 90s, things started to change. More attractive paint schemes like that one were allowed because before 90s in the regiments, it was uh, impossible. It was considered craziness to add similar uh, markings or uh, distinctive insignia on an aircraft, which is military. Every, everything was uh, shrouded into secrecy and insanity like that. Now, this one, uh, I haven't seen this in person, but that was uh, uh, air show uh, plane as well. All this, have in mind, all this included. There are paint schemes uh, here, and the part for the paint schemes is as big as the instruction uh, part of this booklet, which means a lot. This is a 97 SU-25. As you can see, this is already a worn camouflage. This is a very good addition at Edward Mead because you can make this plane uh, a very tired bird and it will look awesome. Now, this is Slovakia. Uh, upon changing Czechoslovakia into two republics, as it was uh, originally was the case. Uh, Slovaks and Czechs divided the planes and Slovakia got some of the SU-25. Uh, Czech Republic got most of them as far as I know, but they are no longer in service. I think in early 2000s everything ended uh, and the planes were sold later on. Apparently, they didn't consider the SU-25 a valuable asset to their Air Force, which is something odd, considering that Russians still use it, and Ukrainians too, and apparently quite successfully from both sides. This is a very tough bird. Stencils, as you can see, original stenciling is as bad as uh, a Phantom, and that is a lot of work. A lot of work, no coffee, couple of days work, only stenciling. So prepare yourself in case you will build this one. It is insane. Now, next thing. Resin parts. Resin parts are partially what this kit is all about. Then we have the wheels and the wheels are great. They are superb. I can only wish I could have make stuff like that at the DMO's line. This is insanely good. I'm not sure. Are those 3D printed or is a old school resin? I think it it is 3D printed, but I'm not sure, and only speculation on my end. Those look like 3D printed. Let's see. The air brakes of the SU-25 differ from older aircraft and compared to the new one, and this represents, I think, one of the options, right? So, the mudguard is here. I can only hope that the video gives justification. There are scoops here and small, I think, I don't know what that is, probably the machine gun. Anyhow, this is what it is red and wise. Two more things, masks. We have pretty much the same set, so I won't do a free advertising for Edward, sorry guys. Uh, although I, I truly love those. Uh, I cannot tell you which ones are better, but I love Edward masks. So, I would not lie about that. Now, this is the photo I cheat. Now, the colors 
of the cockpit panels looks spot on. I've been in sight of the cockpit of these planes numerous times and I can assure you that it looks exactly that way. And probably they knew very well what they're doing because uh, they have plenty of those in their museums as far as I know, including the famous frog should be still there. So they did thorough research, although uh, I would advise against photo etch in the cockpit and I'm pro resin cockpit. I don't know who makes it or is anybody make that, but as we spoke in my review of the original Zvezda, in case you want to do the Bulgarian digital camouflage, this does not work. So uh, even if you buy that from Edward and combine it with the Zvezda kit, you gotta make uh, an old version because the new ones, uh, Russian SM3 and Bulgarian updated SU-25s feature digital cockpits. Russians are partially, Bulgarians are fully glass cockpit option. Humongous decal sheet. This is insane. Imagine if you have to pay about each and every set as an aftermarket piece. Those would have worked more than the the kit that Edward gives as it is. Now let's let's do that one by one because it will be difficult otherwise. No, let's do it that way. Technical stances. This is one centimeter by one centimeter. And two and a half of those Make an inch, so make your calculations. This is insane. A lot, a lot of work. A lot of work. But don't be scared. Uh, you'll have even more if you decide to wear and tear the SU-25 and do it as a tired old bird. Yeah. Those are beautiful, beautiful. Nothing, nothing that Zvezda has can compare with this, nothing. This is absolutely fantastic. And more technical stencils, so yeah. Those here are old Czechoslovak insignia, the roundels. And the shields are Slovak, which are very beautiful if you ask me. This is the vivid tail. And the famous uh, frog tank killer, which by the way you can find in many other aftermarket sets. I don't know how accurate they are because the patches are here. You see additional insignia, which might be missing on uh, the other sets of aircraft. 9013. However, uh, I sincerely hope that you won't be buying this kit solely to make one of the options because everything else will be a waste. There are so many and so, so beautiful. The kit, by the way, is called Hrabe, which uh, I tried to translate and somewhere uh, Alongside my search, I found that Hrabe might eventually mean Rook, uh, the bird, which is the Russian name for the Frogfoot SU-25, but then uh, it, uh, it showed me a tool for gardening, so I'm not sure which one is the right translation, but the kit is called Hrabe. Now back to this, I planned not to open this, but then I saw the difference in the color of the plastic. So uh, I'm going to destroy the packing and yeah, let's check it out. Mm. 
Yep. This is the plastic of the weapons and of the SU-25 from Zvezda. This plastic, for whatever reason, looks different. I don't know if camera gives justification of that, but it looks different. I won't be surprised to learn that Edward, for whatever reason, used different plastic for the kit. It's a pretty much the same kit, but uh, plastic quality is uh, important. Now I took a moment to look at it at uh, different light and they seem pretty close, so I might be wrong and I hope I am wrong because uh, that will be rather disappointing for all the people who have the Zvezda kit. So I sincerely hope that nuances of this sprue are different and that is solely the case with that sprue alone. Now, the book. For this beast here, I'm going to make another video and it will follow this one shortly. But overall, with this kit you get three, six and four more. So, ten options, which is wonderful. Uh, if you decide to build it, I would advise to get Zvezda 2 and buy additional goodies from Edward, which they have plenty of, like weapons, they have... Uh, actually, they prepared a lot of stuff. I think they have Photo Edge too, I'm not sure, and I am pretty certain that others will follow. I already have exhaust uh, pipes, or actually this is the nozzle here, the end of the nacelle, made from resin, which is quite better uh, compared to original Zvezda. So in time we will get to see many more because this seems to be the best SU-25 in any scale thus far. And uh, this is it. The limited edition SU-25K from Edward. And uh, very, very, very nice add-on. I was wondering what this is, and here we have a thorough description. Cannon muzzle, yeah, as I assumed. So, I hope that you like this. If you want a thorough review of the plastics, check out my other video of the SU-25 from Zvezda, which is the same. Good job, Edward. Their latest, uh, last actually, repack of the SU-25K was the KP Copro model, which was uh, not so good, obsolete kit, and uh, this is light years ahead. As usual, brilliant job with the limited edition. Uh, actually, any limited edition from Edward is brilliant. So, guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for this one. This will be interesting. See you in the next one.